let's add a full armor effect to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding an effect that is applied to you when you wear a full suit of armor. So last time we have added the citrine armor to the game. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that when you wear the full suit of armor, so the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings and the boots, then you get a particular effect applied to you. Now to do this, I have made a custom class that I will copy over. This is available to you in the description below in the GitHub repository or in an individual just as well. So no worries there. You can also copy it over. And after copying it over right here, so uh, there you go. I will also explain line by line what is happening here so you understand what is going on. Still, though, I highly recommend you're going to need some Java knowledge to understand fully what is happening here. So if you're a complete beginner with Java, I can highly recommend taking a look at my Java introduction for Minecraft and Hytale modding. I have the series. I will link it in the top right corner so that you can take a look at it. It's 31 videos to give you a very good foundation to continue with modding. I cannot recommend this enough. You have to know some Java, especially going forward with the tutorials. They're going to be more and more complex. So you just have to learn a little bit of Java here. Just take that to heart and let's see what the mod armor item class has in store for us. So the first thing that you'll notice is we have a map right here, which maps a particular armor material to a mob effect instance. So in this case, we have the mod armor material citrine that maps to the fire resistance with 200 ticks of time and an amplifier of one. So we're using the instance right here because if I just use the mob effect fire resistance, we can't save the time it takes or the time that this actual effect is supposed to be applied for and the amplifier. So this is why I'm using the effect instance. This particular effect instance that we're creating here is actually never used. We're just copying over the values of, of those three fields. A certain limitation here is that this only works with your own mod armor materials. This does not work with vanilla or with other mods materials. So that's very important. Only works with your own. That's some limitation. So keep that in mind as well. And what we have then is the on armor tick method, which is called every tick that a piece of armor. So this piece of armor, the mod armor item is inside of one of the armor slots. Then this method is called. We're first checking whether or not we're on the server. Then we're checking whether or not the player has the full suit of armor on. So let's just see this method right here. We're just basically getting all of the armor pieces and then making sure that none of them are empty, meaning that all of the armor slots are filled with some kind of armor where at this moment we're not concerned whether or not it's the correct armor just that whether or not something is in there and if that is the case then we're going to call the evaluate armor effects method this method right here in which we basically go through the entire material to effect map that we've defined up here so we're just getting both the armor material and the status effect from it and then we're checking hey does the player also have the correct armor material on so now we're calling the has correct armor on with the material right here and we're basically checking whether or not all of the armor items, the, their material matches with the material given right here. And only if all of them match, so the full suit of armor has all of the same materials and it is the correct material, then we can go through and call the add status effect for material method right here. And this one checks two things. Number one, it checks whether or not the player already has this effect applied, because if they do, then we don't want to add the effect again. If the player does not have the effect applied, then we're fine. Then we can add this and then we're checking one more time sort of as a sanity check. OK, is this really the correct armor? And if that is the case, then we're adding the effect to the player. Here, what you can see we're adding a new mob effect instance with the effect duration and amplifier saved right here so that's pretty much it you can also uncomment this and then make this be able to be damaged so you have a certain percentage of chance to damaging the armor this is not strictly necessary this is why i have basically commented this out a lot of people don't want this but i just i just wanted to mention it if you do want it then it is available all right that is pretty much all that there is for this class right here now how do we use it just change one of your items from the particular material to this mod armor item so we're going to do this one right here i'm usually like to choose the helmet that just makes the most sense for me. But you can also choose the chest plate, the boots, the leggings, whatever you want, but only one of them. Don't change all of them. That's completely unnecessary. You only need to change one of them to the mod armor item. Right, and after having added all of that, 
Let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, I have the fire resistance already applied to me. And we're going to get it applied again. There you go for 10 seconds exactly. So fire resistance 2 because we've put the amplifier to 1. And if I take off, for example, the helmet, then you can see that it is not being applied again. There you go because I'm not wearing a full suit of armor. I'm not wearing the full citrine suit of armor. So even if I take the helmet on, right, even though this is the mod armor item, doesn't matter. Right, because we're checking for each of the armor pieces and only if I have the full suit of armor on, only then will I get the fire resistance applied to the player. Right, and that's actually how easy it can be. Once again, all of the code is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual just as well. Otherwise, this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.